KRDO News Channel 13, where the news comes first. Your news starts right now. We saw it play out at one local high school, and it's still a raging debate in the town of Lamar. Are Native American sports mascots hurtful or part of our history? The debate continues this week at the state capitol. Good evening, I'm Bart Bedsold. Heather Skold has the night off. Thanks for making us your choice for news at 6. We begin with the school mascot debate now making its way to the state capitol. It comes after the question of hurtful or history was decided at Cheyenne Mountain High School in Colorado Springs. News Channel 13's Julia Donovan spoke with people on both sides of the issue today to see how they feel about a bill to ban Native American mascots. She's live tonight with more. Julia. Bart, this is a sign here now at the Cheyenne Mountain High School. You can see the Indian mascot, as they called it, is no longer there. This bill would pose a hefty fine on the 25 other public schools in Colorado with Native American mascots if they choose to keep them. The bill, which cleared the state Senate Education Committee on Thursday, would include a $25,000 monthly fine on Colorado public schools that use American Indian themed mascots after June 1st, 2022. The committee passed amendments excluding schools that have or will seek agreements with local tribes and schools on tribal lands. Several other states have already passed laws banning Native American mascots. Colorado's proposal comes after the Cheyenne Mountain High School School Board voted to remove its Indian mascot last month. Many of the school's alumni, including Sandra Matthews, oppose the change and now oppose this bill. It's ridiculous. This is all cancel culture stuff. If you don't learn your history, I mean, we're on the path of repeating what was really bad years ago. Raven Payment is a Native American who was at the bill's hearing Thursday advocating for the ban, saying what others think honors her people really mocks them. It hurts my heart because I know what our children are going to have to face when they see that, knowing what I went through growing up. A commission of tribal members and state officials recommended schools remove native mascots back in 2015 under Governor John Hickenlooper, but many still remain. Payment told me she isn't holding her breath this time. I use the terms cautiously optimistic that we're going to make some positive progress, and it's not just progress for indigenous people, it's progress for all of us. Cheyenne Mountain School District officials told me it's costing around $24,000 to change its mascot since they've already made strategic changes over the last five years gearing up for this. But they said it could cost exponentially more for the other schools to change their mascots by the bill's deadline. Reporting live at Cheyenne Mountain High School in Colorado Springs, Julia Donovan, KRDO News Channel 13.